Hello everyone and welcome to my review of Moonview's Selfish album. Um, I loved it. I already love Moonbule. I love how versatile she is as an artist and I think the fact that she can sing and rap really works to her advantage because it allows her to you know tap into a wide range of sound and influences when it comes to her personal music. And now that you know I get to explore her solo music I am wondering how much of each of those sites she's going to um, use in those albums, you know, how different her sound is going to be from Mama Moon's, you know, is she going to go into something a, a, a bit brighter or is she going to go full on dark or something a bit more gray? So I'm, I'm really just interested to see where her sound goes. And so far um, on this album there's only three songs so um it's like a little sample of what's to come and i've been enjoying myself i love how bright selfish is because for me Moonbeals is one of those artists that is very intense you know her especially when she raps when she sings um she becomes a bit more soft but when she raps she's definitely more intense so um i i'm wondering how she's going to use that presence of hers with the music and having you know uh, an album like this one which is a bit more bright brings so much contrast when you factor in just how she sounds her voice the tone of her voice and just how she raps how she sings and i I really love this album because it showed me a different moon view than the ones that i'm or the one that i'm already used to so um there's only three songs on this album although all of them are really good i really gravitated towards one in particular and that is the namesake of the album selfish <laughs> So fishy, fishy, yeah. Yeah. Do you don't mind my bulk and bulk and man? Tread by key, my gun, no tweak, and mommy do I'm not trying to go to hell. You jam, 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 jam,
wanna be free. And that was my favorite song on this project. She is working with Solgi, and that is like a cheat code because I love Solgi as well. But like, I really love this song. It is bright, but not too much. And even if you are not a fan of, you know, songs that are a bit more lighter, this is something that will still be good for you, you know. And I'm somebody that really loves like darker, sunny music, eerie, you know, um, a very intense type of sound. But even I fell in love with this. And this is perfect for my 5 p.m. playlist, which is my the the place that I go to when I want to just have a smile on my face and it immediately just changes your mood. So I love the song and I'm really curious to see where this journey takes me. If we are going to stay on this kind of bright type of vibe or are we going to go dark as well? So let me know in the comments how you felt about the album, which song ended up your favorite. And if you want more, check out my Love Moves dedicated playlist on the channel.